welcome aboard guys. Got a special video for you today. I'm flying a uh, SR22 Turbo G5 up to uh, Salida, Colorado here from Denver. The plane was just here for a software upgrade on uh, the avionics here. So today I want to focus on um, how the Cirrus is able to fly automated or flying holding procedures with the automation. Now we can actually build a hold in the system here and we'll have the autopilot in the plane just fly the whole entire hold for us without having to touch the control. So I'll show you how to do that today. So enjoy the video. Sure, it's 2 Juliet Juliet Martin. Martin 2 Juliet Juliet. Cirrus 312, Juliet Juliet, Centennial Tower, Caution, Wake Tempest, Departed Citation, fly straight out to Lincoln, Southwest Bond, approved, runway 17 left, clear for takeoff. Alright, clear for takeoff, 17 left, we'll fly straight out to Lincoln, then on course, Cirrus 2, Juliet Juliet. Offset to the left, continue to fly straight out, jet traffic departing uh, off the runway. Alright, we're going southwest, you want us to go to the right? Cirrus 2, Juliet, Juliet, uh... Cirrus 2, Juliet, Juliet, negative, uh, offset to the east, offset to the east, faster traffic and trail. Alright, we'll shift over the east, sending Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. Yeah, Cirrus, uh, Juliet, Juliet, I see you now, just continue westbound now. Alright, going back to the west now, 2, Juliet, Juliet. All right, I'm gonna switch over to Denver Center and just monitor that. Actually, just one, two, three, four, five while I talk to you guys here. So, uh, my client here just got a new software upgrade to his Perspective Avionics. I uh, made a few versions old, so he just decided to uh, switch to the other side. I uh, decided to up upgrade it and update it to the latest and greatest that they have for the, the legacy perspective. Um, so today I wanna test just the hold function and also just show you how that works here. Alright, so, I have us going to Zombies intersection there on the map there, so I'm just going to pretend like I have a non-published hold there. So what I'm going to do, go down here to my flight direct, or to my uh, FMS here, and up here, I'm going to go, uh, hit the direct button, I'm going to scroll down here to the hold feature, right there, it's hard to hold it there because it's bumpy. And so now we have our panel here that'll show us what kind of holds we can do. So I'm just going to put a random one in there, it doesn't really matter. So I'll make sure it works. So I can set the inbound course to 207, with a leg time of 1 minute, turn direction is to the right. And I could plug in an EFC time down here, but I don't have one and I don't really want to worry about that right now. So I'm going to hit activate. And you can see right there... Charlie Golf Yon. It just built a hold for me, and you can see there's some dashed lines there. Meaning that's the hold entry procedure, so the plane actually can calculate if you need a direct parallel or teardrop entry, and it will fly it for you. Okay, so I'm going to reach down here to make sure it's on nav, which it is. So I'm just going to leave it in nav mode, and that should fly the hold for me until I tell the autopilot to do something else. That's how you do a hold in the perspective and have the autopilot fly it for you. Alright, so you can see there it says hold direct at the top. So that's how we know what kind of hold entry the autopilot's gonna do. You can tell me to turn right to this certain heading there in a couple seconds. I'm gonna stop it there. But it does not 
do the hold because I'm going pretty fast and it's bumpy and I don't want to do a turn at 154 knots. But now I know that the hold works, so now I'm just going to go direct over here. You can see how it's pink there, the hold. I'm going to go up and just go direct to Salida because I know it works now. Direct to enter, enter. I'm down here and I'm going to hit the nav key because I want the HSI to follow that magenta line. And we're turning to the right. Alrighty, about 17 miles outside of Salida here. Just coming to the last little ridge, coming into the valley here. One of us is off our right. Start sitting down now to 11,000 feet. Nice and gentle descent. Look pretty bumpy over the mountains here. So pretty nice gentle descent. Wants to look to be nice and calm in Salida. Which is rare because it's always seems to be blowing. Alright, guess what's uh, not calm winds? Got 220, best up to 19, so we've run away 24, so that's going to be perfect run away to land on. But 20 degrees off the nose isn't too bad. Alright, sit down at pattern altitude here of uh, 8,500, field elevation 7,500. Alright, 8,500 looking at uh, about 103 knots. We can carry just a little extra speed today because the gusts, just in case we lose that gust. On the final. I get a little low and slow. Add a little power and also just pitch up. Get right back up there. Alright, so we have a 13 knot tailwind on my downwind here, so I know my uh, downwind to base is going to be a little bit speedy, so I'm going to give myself a little extra room here. Uh, because we got a little bit of a wall of uh, of a hill as you can see ahead of us, so I want to make sure our turn radius is under control. Alright, beam of our touchdown point there, we're going to reduce the power. Flaps come to 50 speed checks. Slide traffic series 312, Juliet, Juliet, turn left base from my 24, slide it. Corner, speed's coming down to 90, looking good. A little gusty there. Alright, come around to base, flaps come to full. Still driving that nose down. Slide traffic serious, 312, Julia, Julia, it's turn final, we're on my 2 4, slide it. And with those gusts, I'm going to fly about 83 knot final here. Just to take into account those gusts. And we got that little cliff off the end of the runway, so that usually causes some potential instability with the wind. So I'm going to carry a little extra speed in case. Yeah, a little bit of updraft, so I'm going to reduce the power to help fight that. crab needed or any rudders looks like it's blown right down the runway. Either off into the flare. Hold that power in a little bit longer and we'll start pulling the power out to let her sit down. Alrighty. Pull the left cross one now. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you thought it was pretty cool learning how to do holes in a Cirrus, it really makes the instrument flying pretty easy when everything's automated and your workload's high in the soup. Thanks for riding along, and I'll see you in the next video, take care.